Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to edit polylines, add vertices, modify information about vertices, change coordinates and other things about polylines. So here I have an example of a polyline. Here I have it drawn. Right. These are its properties. It's closed. And here we see that it has seven vertices, and when you select the polyline, you will be able to watch the vertices that you have you realize that a cursor or a signal of each vertex that I am pointing to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. It has eight vertices, and I can change or modify each of its vertices change its X component, its Y component, also its elevation. Only by selecting and see which vertex I want to change, and it goes to go pointing. For example I want to change vertex 6, then I go to vertex 6, and I want it to be 5400, 5400 exact. And here I want it to be minus 850 exact. Enter. And I already changed this vertex. I could even change the elevation. If I want, in the same way. Now, what happens if I want to add one more vertex on this side of the polygon? Then. I see what order it is in. This is important. In what order it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, you realize that it is drawn in a clockwise direction, in a clockwise direction, so that will depend a lot. For example, I want to add one from here, everything is going to be added in a clockwise direction too, so I'm going here to add. Here in the middle, simply what I'm doing is placing on the vertex without clicking or anything, and I'm going to add here. Add vertex. It's going to request me where I want to select it. I'm going to put it here. Remember that the direction in which the polygon is drawn is important. And here I'll also be able to change. Let's see what vertex it is now. Now there are nine vertices. This is the fourth vertex, you can see, I will continue. Now there are nine vertices, and I can also do the inverse. Remove the vertex. Click on remove, and it disappeared. Or I will select again, and, rather I will to delete this vertex from here, remove, I can also make that change. And the third option with the polyline grip. We have struck vertex, which is to move the vertex of the polyline to another location. Click here and I can move it to another location or pick another point that already has it defined. Or click here. I am also going to give you a tip that is to extend a length of one of the sides of the polyline. For this we are going to use the function strike vertex, okay. But I am going to define here the base point. I click here and selected this point, and I go to type the command ext to extend from that base point a length that I want. Enter. And you realize that a length of 227, 307 is being marked. And it is an extension of the line from here to here. You can also do it for the other side, as you can see. You realize. It is an extension of the other line 500, 639 for example. I am going to do it as about 630. You can type 630 meters. Enter. Because if I do it without this, you will see what I am going to do again here. Stretch Vertex. 
and you realize that it is based on the extreme point of the other vertex. And it only allows me if they realize how the polygon is in clockwise. Only it allows me to quickly modify the side of the polyline that is over here, it is here. You realize that if we are going to modify the total length, you can also make an extension, you realize, extension indicates. I can type by saying to 4000. You can type 4000. And press. Enter. But here is changing the entire length of the polyline side. Press the enter key. And now it measures 4000. Now I am going to make a new stretch vertex, so that you can see only it allows me, if you notice this here. This line of here. Now I am going to take the opportunity to teach you. How to change the clockwise orientation of the polyline, as you realize, now it is in a clockwise direction armed, but here also. In modify. I can change the direction. To put it in reverse. Or in a counterclockwise direction. Okay. Now, I'm going here to do it again, stretch vertex, and now, you realize that allow me to modify this line. When you selected this vertex, it does not mean that I have to do this to modify this line. It's only an example where you can see the direction of the polyline now, the polyline. I can also extend or trim it if you realize, I am going to type, for example, 3500. And press. Enter key. It is already. I edit it. There is also this option to edit polylines. That is here. Edit polyline. Click on it to let them see. And it also gives me the option to be able to do a series of functions to edit the polyline. For example, I am going to do this first one. Open the polyline. Close the polyline. And a series of options that they have to be able to edit the polyline. But. We are going to focus on edit vertex. You realize that they can also go to the next. To the previous. Next. Next. And see what position it has in the polyline or edit that point. Go to he next. Also if I click on break, I press go, and I'm going to leave. And I separated them in two. You realize I separated it in two. I made a break and I separated them in two, from the starting point to the point that I made the cut. Now to join, it can be with this function. Here. Join tool. Click on this tool, this icon, click here, and I can join two polylines. Into just one. Enter. And the polyline is already closed. Now. Always remember to verify that, in its properties, in properties of the polyline, that is closed, because as sometimes it brings problems, to be able to do some work with polygons, either to do shading, or to change their properties. Well, if you like this video, please click on I like it. You can also share this video with your friends or colleagues. I invite you to subscribe in my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.